Hello, and welcome to the periodic table of Google Analytics. My name is Jeff Sauer, but you might know me as Jeff Analytics. And today we're going to be talking about acquisition reports that are available in Google Analytics. And this is going to be a broad overview of this section of Google Analytics. We're going to cover where you can look and just just what you can expect to get out of this entire section of reports within Google Analytics. This video is for skill levels of beginner all the way through advanced. Everybody can benefit from what we're going to learn and from the knowledge we can gain from the acquisition reports. Acquisition reports are really designed to help you answer the question, who came to my website? Who are the people who came to my website? But not only that, but how did they get there? How did they get to my site? Did they come in through, did they type in the URL directly? Did they come in through a search engine? Or was my email marketing working or my social media? Any kind of way that they could come to your website, anything you can imagine, is really what you can cover within these reports. And specifically, these reports will tell you about the different channels that people can come in to get to your website. Channels are an aggregated grouping of the different traffic sources to your site. So a traffic source is really a specific way that somebody could come in, the source and medium if you've ever been in Google Analytics. And then the channels are really an aggregated version of that. You can also get into your AdWords reports and understand how your ad performance is working if you're running Google AdWords. And then also SEO and social media reports as well. So who needs these reports? I'd say everybody can benefit from the traffic acquisition reports. They're one of the first reports that you might look at when you get into Google Analytics, and you can keep on coming back there no matter how advanced you are or how long you've been working with this. Traffic reports can really be interesting. As far as a pro tip goes, my pro tip is that don't just look at the surface area data. Make sure that you drill down and look at specific sources. So instead of looking at the channel groupings and seeing where your channels are coming from, do look at the traffic sources report and drill down as deeply as you can in order to better understand the acquisition of visitors to your website. Beware of using default channel groupings to represent your traffic because they might not incorporate everything you want and it might not be as accurate as you're looking for. It might be a little misleading if you'd stick with the defaults with channel groupings. There's going to be a video specifically on channel groupings that we'll make sure that you can get to as well. The other thing is make sure that you block out referral spam or at least have an understanding of whether your referrals are accurate or not because you might see an increase in referrals from certain websites, but make sure that they are legitimate. Make sure that they're the traffic that you want to be tracking and the ones that you can take action on. So that's it for this video on the acquisition reports overview. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more videos and I look forward to continuing to learn Google Analytics with you. Thanks.